my man uh, so today guys I'm going to show to you how to turn a rabbit hide on this video guys so keep on tuning and uh, enjoy the video yeah my hands steady I feel ready but my legs heavy I don't get it how come I haven't hit it already still working I'm still learning I'm still searching finally earning something finally turning something called a profit if I hear you talking shit don't get caught in it Salting a rabbit hide. So this is the paw. Or hi guys, and uh, before we start, welcome to my channel, guys. My man. So today we are going to salt to tan a rabbit, uh, rabbit far or rabbit felt. So I'm going to tan it using salt and egg. But later on, uh, we are going to proceed for uh, for using egg brain brain tanning using egg yolk. And then, I think yeah, it's egg yolk yolk. But for now, we're going to use uh, what do you call this one? We're going to use the salt. That's the first uh, step. Of course, uh, what I did here first is took out all the um, flesh, the meat, as possible as I can. Because later on, you're going to uh, take it out also after. Uh, after you uh, put the salt here after the drying process but for now it's freshly from uh, came from the fridge because I preserved it first this previously the day was not so sunny day that's why i i just keep it first into the fridge to the in uh, inside the freezer so that it will not rot <laughs> so that's why it's a little bit uh freeze some parts of it but of course i already uh, took it out this morning a while ago it's not so morning guys so that it will uh, soft soften a little bit all right so this is it guys this is my rabbit fur so far as you can see so for now I think I'm going to take out for some of uh, flesh here so that later on it saved my time you can distinguish the what they call this one the flesh or the meat the remaining meat and fat in your uh, rabbit felt if it's a little bit slimy as you can see here so I'm take, taking it out this is slimy thing so that later on it can save our time yes sir this is how you're going to process it It's much better to take it out first before you're going to proceed for your salt tanning. Alright. 
So just like what I mentioned Before you proceed for the salt tanning is you have to take it out first all the flesh the remaining meat the remaining fat in your rabbit hide all right just like what i i don't know if you can see it properly but i'm doing my best to take out all the slime the slimy thing here So as you can see here, this this is slimy thing. You have to take it out. See? Because also guys, this is the thing that you're going to take it out later on. So the the purely will remain on your rabbit felt is just the pure leather or the fiber all right so we're almost done because some some of it after we uh, cull this rabbit guys I already uh, took out some of or the most of this slimy thing here that's why I uh, just taking out just a little bit only now Alright guys, some more minutes. I need your patience guys. While watching this. I think we're almost done here. This is slimy thing is almost done almost remove a lot of it so by the way guys salt, salt tanning of rabbit felt is it's like maybe some some of you asking why we are using salt for tanning a rabbit felt Actually, salt 
serves as uh, it's not preservative but to maintain and so that our uh, felt will not root when uh, when the rabbit felt dried because if you didn't put uh, salt with the uh, with the skin rabbit skin the remaining uh, the skin will be uh, will become uh, root later on so it serves as just like preservative into the rabbit skin so I think we are done with uh, with this taking in taking out some of uh, some of remaining fats and uh, what are you? some of uh, remaining meat here on the rabbit rabbit skin so we are done here and we are going to proceed we are going to proceed for uh, putting a putting a salt then after that we are going to dry it up for 48 hours but of course this rabbit paw and tail we are going to put it in the fridge again because I still don't have the uh, the materials for preserving it so that we can make it we are going to make it later on as a chicken. Huh. Alright. So I'm going to cut it first in the half. So that it will become like this. And we are going to put a salt on this side of rabbit, uh, rabbit skin. Alright guys, the materials that you are uh, needed here is, of course, the salt. Hold on guys, I think I'm going to change the position of us so that you can see it properly how I'm going, going to Oh man. Place it like this. Put it properly spread out or stretch. Make sure to cover all this flesh with your salt. Still have slime eating here.
still have the slimy thing here. Mm -hmm. So put the salt here. Spread it out into the rabbit skin. Spread it out properly guys. Because if you didn't cover it properly with salt, the skin will become a uh, root later on. So this is how you uh, going to do it guys. Spread the salt into the rabbit skin. So this is the first layer. Still have. And by the way guys don't forget to remember this if you're uh, going to use this salt, salt tanning don't use iodized salt or processed salt guys it's much better the original salt because it could it didn't contain any chemicals just like the iodized so that's uh, my next tip if you are doing this salt tanning okay make sure to cover cover all the flesh with salt guys always remember that so this is the first layer This is how we do it. Cover it with salt. All right, this is the second layer. So make it thicker. All the parts here. Make it more thicker so that it can totally cover the flesh of the rabbit keep in the uh, always keep in your mind guys salt serves as preservative here so it's much better to cover all the uh, the flesh of uh, the rabbit skin with salt so that it can uh, properly preserve later on all right this is the second layer i am properly putting and covering this rabbit skin This is the most commonly used method for tanning a rabbit skin for the reason of salt is not so expensive compared with other chemicals that they are using for tanning a rabbit skin guys. There's some uh, other method using alum aluminum ox I think sulfate or something like that alum they call it alum but you can purely use salt here when you are tanning your rabbit hide and this is the cheapest way to tan a rabbit hide 
Alright, so I think I already cover most of uh, the flesh with this uh, rabbit hide. So we are going to put it into under the sun within 48 hours. So make sure that it's completely 48 hours. So if you not get fully uh, put it under the sun within 48 hours. So day by day you have to place it under the sun guys because sometimes the weather is not uh, sunny day so the drying uh, time is not completely 48 hours so you have to place it under the sun day by day so that you can completely uh, you can completely play uh, dry it under the sun for 48 hours so that's all guys that's what we that's how uh, we're, we do it guys tanning uh, salt tanning with rabbit hide so later on I'm going to proceed for the part 2 and our part 2 is using egg yolk so this is that method is tanning the brain of the skin so that it you can it will be soft a bit it's not totally dried so i'm going to show it to you later on guys so that's all guys hope you like it and uh don't forget to like and share, uh, subscribe to my channel, and ring the notification bell so that uh, you can be notified for our part 2 of this rabbit hide tanning. So this is the part 1 guys. Salt tanning. Alright, let's get it on guys. So I'm going to place it under the sun. Peace! Alright, before we're going to... So once again guys, before we are going to put it in under the sun, so this is the final uh, looks of our uh, salt tanning of our rabbit hide. So as you can see here, it fully covered with salt. This is the first step. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can see how I'm going to uh, uh, proceed with the uh, sec next step using the egg yolk after we dried it for 48 hours so let's go guys like and share and subscribe guys what's up my man so this is the result of I think half day of our drying the rabbit felt as you can see here it's a little bit hard now if I tap the salt at the top of uh, my rabbit felt so I started around I think 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 so it's uh it's been six hours now that I'm drawing under the sun but it, uh, Currently now uh, it's already afternoon. That's why I already pick it up. So this is the result of six hours of drying. So as you can see, it's hard a little bit. So we are going to continue it tomorrow so that we can uh, properly preserve the <coughs> what they call this one. We can properly preserve this rabbit far so that later on it cannot be uh, root and uh, it cannot be um, have some uh, yes I think that's the best way to describe it so that it, it will not become a uh, root later on and produce some bad smell all right so we are going to keep it for today and we are going to continue for tomorrow peace out guys and uh, by the way don't forget to like and share subscribe to my channel and 
ring the notification bell. God bless. My hands steady, I feel ready, but my legs heavy, I don't get it How come I haven't hit it already? Still working, I'm still learning, I'm still searching Finally earning something, finally turning something called a profit If I hear you talking shit, don't get caught in it